Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I'm here today with another Mock Mondays video. Today's mock is kind of a work in progress, but for what I've wanted to do with this mock, I'm going to consider it completed. Although there are always some modifications to make, such as color and a little bit on the functionality, but for the most part, this works the way I want it to. Today's mock is an elevator and elevator shaft, and I'll even go through with you how I developed this idea and a little bit of troubleshooting in case you want to make this on your own. Now for an idea about its size, here we'll bring in the exosuit from LEGO Ideas, and this stands, I measured it about 9 inches tall from top to bottom, the top being right here at this plate. So it's a pretty cool and nice sized model, although it could vary in size depending on how many floors you want to make it. You could always change the height of the elevator, the elevator shaft itself. The elevator itself is roughly six bricks tall. Um, and as far as the idea for this, this came as an idea from Mardi Gras Man 23. I was watching one of his videos, and I believe it was a whole video, in which he mentioned something about making an elevator shaft for the Daily Bugle, because he wanted to make the Daily Bugle much taller and more of a full model from front to back. So I got this idea from him, and hopefully this will help him in a little bit of making his own. And it doesn't have to be exactly the way I made it, because this is still a work in progress, and obviously cosmetics can be changed. So we'll bring him in for the video as a test subject, but I'm also going to bring in A-Fall Man because I know he's been working lately on a SIG tower, which I gotta say is looking pretty good. It's incredible how big it is already and he still wants to make it taller. So that got me to think, with a big tower like that, you're probably going to need an elevator. That way you can go up and down between floors more easily instead of taking a long staircase or a ladder or something like that. This would be an easy way for people to go through the tower, like in real buildings. So, let's stick them inside. I'm not going to put them onto studs because it's a little tight, but they'll still be in here to test it out. I got a little door on the elevator itself, which is a 6x6 six six area. Um, the door is on the elevator itself so that it can open and close at different heights. Now the way this works, before I actually show you, is that it has a small piece that's really crucial to the whole project. Well, a few small pieces. First one is a 2x2 two two modified round tile. I don't know the exact name of it, but I'll put it in the description below so you'll have a better reference for it. Um, from BrickLink, but this basically has a small hole on the top of it that works with a hook and the hook is attached onto a string the string is attached to a winch on the top section it can't be seen from this angle though next to the winch we have an axle that's put out and then a small crank that's made from a few pieces so it's relatively easy to make and most of it are pretty easy parts to find I think right now the cheapest set you can get the winch itself in is Riverside, Riverside Raid from Ultra Agents. So that's not too bad. So now let's get to what the actual elevator does. When we turn the crank, the winch will pull everything up and you'll get the elevator moving to different floors. Now granted, you could make this as long or as short as possible depending on how long your string is. Mine has actually been a little bit retied, so I could have made it longer if I wanted to. But I'm also thinking, you know, just for the purposes of this video, just make it a, a little bit of a height. There's no actual way to pull it down, because if you turn the crank in the opposite direction, it'll unhook at this tile. So for right now, the only way that I've been able to get the elevator to go down is to simply push on the top of it. Although I'd have to do it very carefully so that the winch doesn't pop out of its place. The way it's attached on the top may be a little bit tricky. We'll take a closer look at the inside to see how all the magic happens. Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I'm here today with another Mock Mondays video. Today's mock is kind of a work in progress, but for what I've wanted to do with this mock, I'm going to consider it completed. 
Although there are always some modifications to make, such as color and a little bit on the functionality, but for the most part, this works the way I want it to. Today's mock is an elevator and elevator shaft, and I'll even go through with you how I developed this idea and a little bit of troubleshooting in case you want to make this on your own. Now, for an idea about its size, here we'll bring in the exosuit from LEGO Ideas. And this stands, I measured it about 9 inches tall from top to bottom. The top being right here at this plate. So it's a pretty cool and nice sized model, although it could vary in size depending on how many floors you want to make it. You could always change the height of the elevator, the elevator shaft itself. The elevator itself is roughly 6 bricks tall. Um... And as far as the idea for this, this came as an idea from Mardi Gras Man 23. I was watching one of his videos, and I believe it was a whole video, in which he mentioned something about making an elevator shaft for the Daily Bugle, because he wanted to make the Daily Bugle much taller and more of a full model from front to back. So I got this idea from him, and hopefully this will help him in a little bit of making his own and it doesn't have to be exactly the way I made it because this is still a work in progress and obviously cosmetics can be changed. So we'll bring him in for the video as a test subject but I'm also going to bring in a fall man because I know he's been working lately on a SIG tower which I gotta say is looking pretty good. It's incredible how big it is already and he still wants to make it taller. So that got me to think, with a big tower like that, you're probably going to need an elevator. That way you can go up and down between floors more easily instead of taking a long staircase or a ladder or something like that. This would be an easy way for people to go through the tower, like in real buildings. So let's stick them inside. I'm not going to put them onto studs because it's a little tight, but they'll still be in here to test it out. You got a little door on the elevator itself, which is a 6x6 six six area. Um, the door is on the elevator itself so that it can open and close at different heights. Now the way this works, before I actually show you, is that it has a small piece that's really crucial to the whole project. Well, a few small pieces. First one is a 2x2 two two modified round tile. I don't know the exact name of it, but I'll put it in the description below so you'll have a better reference for it um, from BrickLink. But this basically has a small hole on the top of it that works with a hook. And the hook is attached onto a string. The string is attached to a winch on the top section. It can't be seen from this angle, though. Next to the winch, we have an axle that's put out and then a small crank that's made from a few pieces. So it's relatively easy to make. And most of it are pretty easy parts to find. I think right now the cheapest set you can get the winch itself in is Riverside, Riverside Raid from Ultra Agents. So that's not too bad. So now let's get to what the actual elevator does. When we turn the crank, the winch will pull everything up. And you'll get the elevator moving to different floors. Now, granted, you could make this as long or as short as possible, depending on how long your string is. Mine has actually been a little bit retied, so I could have made it longer if I wanted to. But I'm also thinking, you know, just for the purposes of this video, just make it a, a little bit of a height. There's no actual way to pull it down, because if you turn the crank in the opposite direction, it'll unhook at this tile. So, for right now, the only way that I've been able to get the elevator to go down is to simply push on the top of it. Although I'd have to do it very carefully so that the winch doesn't pop out of its place. The way it's attached on the top may be a little bit tricky. We'll take a closer look at the inside to see how all the magic happens. Sorry about that, my camera ran out of bat, uh, memory. So, what I'm trying to explain is when this moves, it can have a tendency to just build up on one side and then you'll have all of your string caught up on that one side. Now it's not a problem because you have small parts, uh, the part that's holding the string is larger than the drum that's winding up the string. But sometimes I've noticed 
with winches in general, they will, the string will have a tendency to hop over that little barrier, and then it will get between, in this case, the gray piece and the black piece. And a problem like that would not only break the winch, but it would also break anything underneath it. And luckily with this elevator shaft, it's pretty sturdy, you know, frame-wise, so the elevator won't completely fall down, and we could still see A Fall Man and Mardi Gras Man 2 3 in other videos. <laughs> But that's something to really take caution about is, you know, how the winch works. Be sure that you can use it well, and depending on the size of the string, you can, you know, just make sure that you're using the right size that you can actually see how well it's working on the whole elevator shaft, um, how much it takes for it to, to go all the way up and fall all the way back down. Because this one is a longer string than the elevator shaft was made for. There's still a whole bunch of slack still in here. Um, and speaking of slack, you don't want to have too much slack because it could lose trying to use the hint or trying to use the hook on the bottom. I had a few times in which this hook would fall off of here and with the space in here, it's kind of cramped. So it's hard for me to get to. So you could either make it a different size for how big the elevator is and an elevator shaft with it. Or you can try to make a part that you can open up with the elevator shaft in case you have to do some maintenance. I'd also recommend if, you, if you're unsure about this hook actually catching on here because we've seen before that it could just pop right off or sometimes the hook might be hard to attach in there. You could also attach the other end of the string instead of to a hook, just attach it to a Lego brick and attach, it, attach that brick to the elevator but in a way that will still allow the string to be caught on and pull the elevator up. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Mardi Gras Man 2 3 for the idea, as well as the demonstration, and for a Fold Man Sig Fig to, you know, <laughs> join in the ride for the test. I hope you guys find this um, informative and hopefully helpful if you're trying to make an elevator mock in your own buildings and town and city. And we'll see you next time with more LEGO videos.